Let me go to uh, Ken. Ken Cohen is from Arkansas as well. Wow, Arkansas all of a sudden. Hey, Ken. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm great. A little cold. We had an ice storm down here. Got electricity back, so now I can call you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> My question is this. Last week or so, you mentioned about people that hold gold and silver mistakenly think they can spin that sometime if the government you know, gets in disarray and we have a hyperinflation and de- devaluation of the dollar thinking we can spend our gold and silver when knowingly the government will not let us do that. They can confiscate it or whatever they, they want to do. And you said as a hedge, uh, I believe it's the term you used, uh, you use a Swiss currency. And so yes. my question was, how do you do that in the, what's the real time way to do that? Do you go to your bank and get X number of thousand dollars worth of that and then have it put in your safety deposit box. Is yeah. it possible to buy any currency like that and keep it in a 401k or an IRA, et cetera? So my question is, if I want to do that and hold Swiss currency and then be able to sell that back dollars when they're inflated, how do I do that? So the, the, the best way to do it, um, your bank's not light, in all likelihood going to sell it to you. Now, I use... Uh, I do it online, and I've done it online for years. Um, and, you know, some some years ago, many years ago, I looked for an online source that uh, their fees were very reasonable that I could do that with with any currency I want to do it. So I get it for there, and I actually have the physical currency. They mail it to me. It's called E, uh, and I don't they, they don't know who I am. I don't have any relationship with them or anything like that. I'm, I just give uh, that website out because I've used them personally, a um, uh, number of times, and it's very reliable, and their fees are, are low. Um, it's called e, the letter E, the letter Z, 4X, F-O-R-E-X, 4X.com, E-Z, F-O-R-E-X.com. And you can go in there, and you just uh, put a little thing in there and says, you know, you want to buy, um, you, you've got $500 in American, you want to buy Swiss francs with it, and it'll calculate how much Swiss francs that is. You pay for it online, and um, they'll they'll mail it to you. You get a package, and the and the physical money is in there. And you can put it in your safe deposit box, whatever whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can now you can cash that in in all likelihood. If you want to get rid of it and turn it back into American dollars, you can probably do that at your bank. Uh, the bank would probably take that, but they might. They're, they're not going to take now if if things crash everybody's going to be taking it you'll be able to get it you, you may be able to do it at your supermarket so um, that that is just uh, something that uh, you know I've done I've recommended and I know thousands of other people um, you know there's a lot of high net worth people that do it but they do it in a different way they they just do it in a in a, an account that they might have um, a Swiss type or a foreign bank account but Anyway, that's probably the best way of doing it, and it's uh, it's it's a real simple process, Ken. And uh, you can ha- now now as far as putting it in your four hundred one k or your IRA, you really can't do that. The only way you can do that is to put in the investment, the forex, the investment. In other words, it's an ETF. I have a couple of them on my website. An ETF that specializes in Swiss currency. And you could you could own shares of that, but it's not going to be, you know, the physical, the physical dollars It's just purely an investment.